So Dendi Hopo Chingonore is a very important issue here. He says that it is not only embarrassing that the government of Zimbabwe uses Gmail, which is a 30 part email system, it also shows how incompetent the government has become. This is a government with a full Minister of Information and Technology, and it also has internet organizations. This is in reference to this tweet which says, is there anything wrong with a government company or organization using a Gmail address or is it just okay? To me, it's not okay. This is a Republic of Zimbabwe embassy, which is using a Gmail account, account is zimakra.zimfa at gmail.com. Number one, for the sake of sovereignty and secrecy, of the government information especially um, embassies it's not proper for them to be using a gmail account how can you uh, maximize security on a gmail account a, an account which you don't control if maybe you are talking about ma, 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 uh, ma classified uh, issues classified matters and you have a gmail account how do you protect yourself from uh, third parties are having access to whatever communication you have. Secondly, let us talk about um, just having uh, technology in Zimbabwe. We have the ICT minister who is there. We have the minister of information. These are two ministers who are just sleeping on the job, doing nothing. Now, for an example, Let's have Munyoko registrar attached by every hospital and with, with technology it's possible. Then, per every clinic, to have Munyoko registrar attached by every clinic. Are we issuing a base certificate? Right? Tapeza is Zuzu. Munu can apply for a birth certificate online, just uh, online on uh, internet or just using star 233 hash code. I just gave an example. What one's the right birth certificate track application? Yakota Itambira Chuya Pa registrar's office, Iripakat cannot pa hospital, Iripakat, just a center in India very close to you, a government center very close to you for confirmation. Can I read ID or to end out on a pure or to know some fingerprints? Ako, a auto tour or picture, yako, and any other relevant details that auto tour why and you are now in the system. Saka or go now to at his view. I do good to another from God Zabo running about cheese if I'm say, but um, in I believe what if we digitalize the economy of Zimbabwe. Tunoshka kure in terms of development, in terms of building the economy itself. Tarasai mwane corruption ni kuma kambani. A sole trader would say, I will not go to register a kambani and pay $100. Just like that. Because $100 ino kuna totenga order. Ya kakura, ya kuti muna, gwone kuita something. Saka, if you take a look, government iriku tora from that $100, iriku tora around $30 or below. The rest is just going to co corruption ne ku 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 team rare consulting companies for just doing nothing. But what if we digitalize the company registration processes? It means I can just register my company online, get everything online. If there is a need for me to, to, to uh, sign for anything physically. I'll just be directed to the nearest office in Ngeringum district, Mangu. I go and sign. That is very, very easy and simple. But the government will never do that. They will uh, prioritize to use my Gmail accounts UIO for their communications without hesitation. But does that help? It doesn't. Saka. Total says a lot of things can actually be done. Uh, some digital platforms. A lot of things can actually uh, be done. Tishandisa, these are very important platforms uh, in, in technology. But because of incompetency within the government structures, Atinakwa Tinoshika. Saka, that is the reason why you see them creating Magosta accounts. The Kungura Kasha Chet, 
they don't have ideas but they can create my ghost accounts and kungora kasha kutukirira nekuita zvinhu zvakasiyana siyana saka let us embrace technology let us embrace uh, digital platforms digital systems so that we begin to transform the economy of zimbabwe we begin to transform the country as a, a, as a whole remember kuti manje manje kwato ne software zvike zvine zve kuti um they can do audit chai chai yo ngoisa information yauri kuda a, a software can do audit primary audit you, you just put information yauri kuda a software ino kugadzirira accounts dzese ma bank statements yo maisa uko zvese zvauri kuda iwewe about accounts which means isisuti rucharamba takasara zvinoti apply even kuma university zedu kuti vakufanana kunge vachidzi vama courses arufana kunge achitorwa nevana because 10 years from now a company will just consider to use a software than to use an accountant which means iwo kanore an accountant uh, what will happen is iwewe uchangosvika iwewe onzi you are now a data capture you are no longer an accountant you are just capturing data saka data capturing ino gona kuti itwa nemwana apa ku form 4 chai chai and our government does not care about that the minister of ICT is kumbozvona zvese zvizvo kuti zvinzvo zvichange zvichitika they don't plan uh, in advance for 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 such things which means uchaona kuti vana vezimbabwe vanenge vakuita sekuti vakadzidzira mahara at a certain point in time saka you see kuti ameno kwatiri kuenda but um, this shows what we now need a change in zimbabwe takuda change in zimbabwe and um, i hope kuti tichai wana change in zimbabwe saka vana zimbabwe and it no register ku vota and it no e dila nenyaya dze ku register ku vota tone kuti ta vote ra advocate no sunjanisa tone kuti taisa munhu achadila nenyaya e dze ku vakanyika ya zimbabwe ku develop anyika ya zimbabwe kuti inge ichifambidzana nedzimwe nyika saka isiso tiri kuti zvakanaka munyika ya zimbabwe kuti iwewe neni tiende tinokurudzira madzedu kuti ava vana vana chevanoziva ma grade 0 ai turamba chitungamirwa nema grade 0 zvikarini their ideas are so primitive akapfugama you don't expect anything good from these people let us register to vote and vote for change